Well, the death toll from a line of tornadoes that tore through Kentucky sadly has increased to 77. One person, though, still unaccounted for. The governor says more than 1,300 state workers and National Guard members have been mobilized to areas hardest hit. Among the victims, a man who lost his five-month-old son in the storm, his wife badly hurt. That man, who is obviously still recovering both physically and emotionally, spoke exclusively with our correspondent, Kelsey Kernstein, who joins us live from Evansville, Indiana. So, Kelsey, just an absolutely unimaginable loss for this family. And Nicole, we are just days away from Christmas. 30-year-old Andrew Oglesby, he has been in the hospital ever since that tornado hit Bremen, Kentucky. And right now, tonight, he is mourning the loss of his five-month-old baby boy. He would just crack a grin and he would forget about everything. I couldn't explain how wonderful he really was. I'm not just saying it because I'm his dad. Oglesby suffers a broken jaw and scratches and bruises all over his body. He is from Bremen, Kentucky, a town of 300 people. Their tornado taking more than 10 lives from the little city and leaving it destroyed. And now what's left of Oglesby home is a slab of concrete and some debris. His family did lay down a cross to honor their five-month-old baby, Chase Oglesby and decorate it with Christmas lights as this would have been his first Christmas. But tonight, Oglesby is asking for prayers that his wife, who broke her spine after the wall of their house crashed into her, wakes up. If I had a wish, just charity would be okay. That's my main thing now. She's, like I said, she's my best friend. Christmas is gonna, it's not gonna be the same no more really, but. What time, hopefully, they'll get better. And when I asked Oglesby what is keeping him going right now, he said it is his faith that knowing someday he'll be able to hold his baby boy again and that his best friend wakes up, Nicole. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.